Hi everybody, have no fear, Ivestes is here. In this video, I'm going to show you the construction of the stone wall we did some time ago with Samuel Eto and Levac. Basically, the place we were in is located in southern France, and it's part of an ancient fortified castle or stronghold, if you prefer, that was destroyed during heretic purges by Cardinal Richelieu in 1634. Amazingly enough, they were aiming at it from boats floating in the nearest river. When one cannon bullet hit the gunpowder storage, the whole place blew up. Well, we cannot blame them for that. Everyone knows that all heretics deserve to die. All of this seems like loads and loads of hard work. And yes, it is. Carrying around soil in all its forms, at least 10 hours a day, is no job for the soy drinking pussy. But there is a secret that is very useful to stay at the top of the wave instead of submitting to the harsh reality of dirt carrying routine. This is the story of how we transformed this centuries-old mess into this. And remember kids, don't try this at home. Better find someone else willing to have a stone wall in his backyard. First of all, we had to dig through this fabulous mix of dirt, stones and centuries old construction rubble until hitting the bedrock. Some of the stones we found were enormous and required several hours of extraction. Now it's a good time to reveal you our secret. To pull off a job like this one, you need to set your mental state from work to work out, embrace the difficulty and take it as a fitness training instead of a chore. Also, you have to work smart sometimes. In a nutshell, the construction became our daily workout, and each and every step was consciously treated as such. Extended periods of effort, followed by small pauses to catch breath, rotation in repetitive tasks, and good motivational spirit to keep a good pace even after several hours or days. Here we did basically a three-week working out session. Get up at 6.45, breakfast around 7 with eggs, sausages and loads of bacon, coffee number 2 taken outside and ready to blast fire at 8. We started each day except Friday and Saturday by bringing in one cubic meter of sand which we have had previously delivered at the gates of the chateau area. One cubic meter is something over one metric ton which does represent a full big bag like this one. It is roughly 15 trips with wheelbarrow loaded with 6 buckets of sand on it. One guy is pushing, one is pulling on the rope, and yes it helps, and one is just walking. That is enough talking. I bet y'all are bored by now. Let's have an actual look at the wall being built. DJ roll the music in.
Jak ho, pane? Ja aj. Po troch týždňoch už mám toho dosť. To become a Stonewall builder, one must train since a very young age. Stonewalling is kinda like a Minecraft, but for real men. If you want your wall to last at least 200 years, you might wanna see some techniques I gathered since immemorial times. First of all, you might need to consider a place where there is plenty of stone. To build a sturdy wall, you will need a whole bunch of them. When digging foundation, it is good to hit bedrock, like the sandstone we found underneath there. Then, we simply started to lay down stones level by level, with some of the biggest stones on the bottom. On one hand, it creates a solid foundation. On the other hand, you don't have to lift them up too high. We tied them together with mortar for a better stability and easier construction. At each layer, we tried to place stones with the longest side inside the wall. With this layout, each succeeding floor is pushing down on them and it becomes virtually impossible for the bottom layers to dissociate whatsoever. On top of the mortared stone wall, we build a dry stone wall, which is way harder and tedious to achieve, because each stone needs to be carefully placed down until it doesn't move at all. But you don't need mortar, which eliminates many hours of wheel burrowing of sand, cement and lime. Yup, just like that. And as always, keep it real.